and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sarah, and the other half of Dalton Disney is Jeff. And right now we are at Universal Studios Japan. We are really looking forward to going into the park today and exploring it all. Uh, we cannot wait to share it with you. We're gonna hopefully get some good food, uh, do some rides, and maybe meet a character or two. We cannot wait to share it all, and it's time for an adventure. So it is a really rainy day, but luckily we have full waterproof stuff. So jacket, pants, and sneakers. We got here around like 7.20. Official open is 9 a.m., but the park should open around 8 a.m. <laughs> but I'm excited. All of the Universal team members came out and greeted guests, and they let us into the park starting at 8.15. The crowds here today are not too bad, so it's pretty quiet. It could be the rain that's keeping people away. It also is a Wednesday. We saw some characters when we were walking in and we made our way back to Super Nintendo World. The theming in here is absolutely incredible and I love that you walk through the tunnel in order to get into this land. Uh, it is again super rainy today so I'm sorry that there'll be some rain on the GoPro as we walk in but here's just a quick view of the land and the team members in here are so fun. I so especially like these ones greeting us at the entrance of the ride. The ride had a stated 15 minute rate for the regular line and they also do have a single rider queue which was 10 minute. The theming in here again is just absolutely incredible and even though it had the stated 15 minute wait, it was pretty much a walk on for us. So here we are grabbing our visors and just getting ready to head onto the ride. And with the ride, it's going to be a Mario Kart style ride. So you'll ride through some scenes and shoot and earn points. Uh, and they also have the visors, which create a virtual reality interaction with the game, which is fun. And then after we did the ride, you're let out into a store. And the store here is of course going to have a variety of Mario and Mario Kart specific merchandise, which it was really fun. They have a ton of different stuffed animals, so all of the theming in the stuffed animals is absolutely amazing. And then here's just an overview of what it looks like inside the store. With the stuffed animals, they of course have all of the characters. So you have uh, Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, Yoshi, so pretty much Bowser, all of them. Uh, so basically, if you have a favorite character, you're able to get a stuffed animal of them here. And one of my favorite things were these uh, little Mario Kart plushies, and you also have Toad right here. And then I also really liked some of the t-shirts that they have in here. So this one, um, I especially like just because it said Universal Studios Japan. When we left the store at the exit of the ride, there were already guests queuing up to get popcorn buckets. So they have a variety of different um, popcorn buckets or a Mario Kart one and a star one. Here's a quick look at those. And my favorite thing about the popcorn though are the flavors. So you have a caramel peach and also a mushroom cream flavor. So I really wish we could have tried those, but we didn't want to wait in the large queue just to try the popcorn. And then we got in line for Yoshi. It was pretty much a walk on to be able to ride Yoshi as well. We just got off of Yoshi and it is a really cute ride. It reminds us of the People Mover at Disney, so it's kind of a slow motion moving one, but the theming is really cute and there is a game where you like press the eggs when you see them and you can try to collect them all. So it overlays characters and stuff happening to the actual ride. There is a pretty big glare from my phone, but you can also zoom in and zoom out, which is really cool. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about some of the games that are here in this land. So if you buy one of the bands that they have, they have different characters. You can then scan the bands and interact and do different games in the land. Uh, obviously to buy the band, that's an additional cost, but there's a bunch of different things. We've seen a lot of guests here playing them. Here's an example of some guests playing one of the interactive games here in the Super Nintendo land. And the there's a variety of different games that you can play all throughout the land. However, they typically did have a little bit of a queue if you wanted to play any of those. If you wanted to get one of the bands, they had a bunch of different carts around and they're either gonna be 4,200 or 4,900 yen, depending on which one you picked. 
And then we were wandering around and we saw some characters. So we got to meet and interact with Toadstool. So he was there to take photos with. And then there also was a queue if you wanted to go and meet Peach, you could go and take a photo with her as well. One of the things that we were asked a lot prior to coming here was some of the differences and similarities between this Super Nintendo Land and the one that currently exists in California. And then of course Orlando is also getting one, but a couple of the big differences are uh, here. There's some additional food options, so there's an additional food location. Uh, there are some characters that are different, so I think for example Toad is here where he is not currently in California. Uh, and then there also is the Yoshi ride, so that's probably the biggest thing, is that there's an additional ride here and we really enjoyed that. So even if you've uh, been to the one in California, there's definitely some new things to still explore here. Jeff really wanted a snack, so we stopped over at this Yoshi themed booth and he's getting the bun as well as one of the Yoshi lassies. Over here they also have the Mario themed sippers, so if you want one of those they're available. And for the bun, it's filled with noodles and cheese. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. He only thought that was okay, but the melon flavored lassie he really liked. I just want to share our overall thoughts about this land. The theming is amazing. Honestly, it's one of the best themed lands. There's so many different interactive things. There's the blocks, question blocks you can punch, um, but and the rides are fun too, so they're good. They're um, probably not my absolute favorite rides ever, but they're still really, really good rides. Uh, and then there's nice to have some food options in here. I will say the one big downside is that it's very busy right now just because it's such a new area. So everyone of course wants to come here, but we've really enjoyed exploring it. We are now going to make our way over to Space Fantasy, which is going to be located on the far left side of this map. But I just wanted to quickly share an overview of all of the different lands that they have here at Universal Studios. We've really enjoyed walking around all of them. This is the pork bun from Doraemon Snack Carts, and it's really good. And it is just right outside of Doraemon Nobita Sky School, which is a current overlay for the Space Fantasy roller coaster here. I'm now gonna head on the Sky School ride. Because it is an overlay, there is a virtual reality component to it, so Jeff wasn't sure uh, motion sickness if he wanted to do it, so I'm gonna give it a try. And since it's just me, I'm gonna do this single rider line, which has a stated 30 minute wait. I timed it out and it was actually probably only about a 15 minute wait for me to get on this ride in the single rider line. I just got off the Doraemon mo movie ride and it is an overlay that is on top of one of the regular rides here and so they are doing it special for that movie. The um, overlay is done where you put on goggles so they're going to be like a uh, virtual reality type of goggles and then they still have you go on the track and it kind of interacts with that video. The seats remind me a lot of Crush and Coaster where you had like a 2 2 front backwards but because of the overlay they only had us facing forwards so they weren't using the backwards seats but it was really fun. I've never been on a ride like that. We just got the Pikachu bun and that was easily the shortest we've seen the line. It's been very long some days here or the, the times we walked by it. Um, it. I waited like two minutes. They have the Pikachu bun, they also have a churro and a sipper and so we'll go ahead and give this a try. Let's see. It's good. It has like pizza sauce and sausage inside. It's pretty good. We next made our way back to the Harry Potter area, so we're walking through the Forbidden Forest to Hogsmeade, and we wanted to check to see if any of the magical creatures were out. Here's just a view of the crowds and of the entire Hogsmeade area. Thank you. We next stopped in some of the shops and a lot of the merchandise is similar to what you can see in the U.S. parks. So they have a shop that has a bunch of wands, so if you wanted to buy a wand. In this shop, they have a bunch of house-specific merchandise, including a bunch of house robes. 
We then went over to where all of the owls were and they had a ton of owl themed merchandise. So you had hats and headbands and stuffed animals. Probably my favorite item that I saw in here though were these uh, brooms. So you have the Nimbus 2001 and a Firebolt. These had some amazing details on them. They were expensive, but they were incredibly well themed. And then they also had some really fun additions of the Quibbler around. We next made our way over to Amity Landing and we wanted to try some of the food in this quick service restaurant. So you just go up to the counter, order, and then get your food and bring it to the table. Jeff had this blue soda cake and he absolutely loved it. We also got this uh, fried chicken with french fries and a pancake, but probably my favorite thing about this restaurant is the amazing view that you have of the Jaws ride while you're sitting here eating and you even see the Hogwarts castle in the distance. We then made our way over to the kid themed area of the theme park and back here you'll have a bunch of kid rides so you have a whole Sesame Street area here in the back with some rides meant for little ones including some cars they can drive and a carousel but the main reason I want to come back here was for some dessert that is Hello Kitty themed so I'm really excited to give this a try. We just got two items from the Hello Kitty Cafe cart. Um, this is a strawberry and cream churro and then it's a strawberry drink. So I'm gonna try the drink first and then we'll try the churro. So let's see. That is different, but really good. There's chunks of, I think, strawberry in it. Yeah, it's good. I actually like it a lot. And here's the churro. Mm, that's really good too. We were just walking by Sing and there was pretty much no line so we hopped in. I think it's probably going to be about 10 minutes before the show starts. I'm not sure if we'll be able to film or not in there, but if we can't, we'll be able or we'll definitely be sure to tell you what it's like afterwards. <laughs> show and it was really good all of the narration is in Japanese but all of the songs are in English and mostly ones that I know the characters were great so they actually had team members up there in costume um, doing all the characters I think there's like five different songs that they did with five or six different characters but it is really cute if you are here I definitely recommend checking it out we made our way back to the New York area of the theme park and over there you have the Terminator 2 ride and then here's just an idea of some of the theming back here. So it feels very similar to Universal Studios Orlando. And over in the corner there is going to be where the Spider-Man ride is. They also have a really fun Spider-Man photo op here in the New York area. So I really enjoyed finding this detail down one of the alleyways. All right, let's check it out. It's very good. It's just like a pork burrito, and I'm very happy we found it. head over and do some shopping. We're gonna head into the Brown Derby store. I think it's actually called It's So Fluffy um, with some bra sign Brown Derby above it. Not sure what's in it, but it looks like an interesting store to check out.
There are some cute socks and a bag down here, but hands down my favorite is this tissue box cover. That is amazing. I also really love this Minions shirt and they have the bucket hat there. And down below are some purses with the Minions on them as well. We made our way over to the Jurassic Park area and in here you have two rides, you have some food options as well as a store. And when it comes to the rides, you have Jurassic Park the ride, which is similar to River Journey in Orlando. And here you have the ride vehicle coming out with the big splash. The other ride in here is the Flying Dinosaur, which is a roller coaster and you're suspended. So that is running even though it is raining, but it looks really fun. And then we popped in the store. The theming of the store is great. So they have the big dinosaur head peeking out from the bush as you walk in. And here's just a quick view of what the shop looks like. In here, of course, they'll have a variety of Jurassic Park merchandise. And I really enjoy that some of it actually says Universal Studios Japan on it. This Jurassic World shirt I really enjoyed. And then also down here, they have some other uh, funny Jurassic and Jaws t-shirts. My favorite detail though of this store is in the far corner over here. There is a velociraptor in the cage and the animatronic moves and makes noises. So this is an amazing detail in this store. We made our way back up to the front of the theme park and I just want to share a quick view of some of the different coasters. So you have the one roller coaster there on the right hand side going and then across the water in the distance is the flying dinosaur that we just showed back in Jurassic Park. We wanted one last food item so we grabbed a Hello Kitty bun from this little snack cart and the Hello Kitty bun is filled with cheese and pork and it was really cute and very delicious. That's gonna do it for us here at Universal Studios Japan. We had a really fun time checking out the park, trying a bunch of food, seeing the characters and doing rides. We wanna say thank you all so much for following along with us. We cannot wait to bring you on another adventure.